I just got a box from a group order that came from Lutz, and I'm so excited. Um, so I'm doing a box opening video. I just have it this way so I can show you the very beginning. Sorry, head niche. Um, and then I'm gonna turn it around. Uh, it. Actually, I'm gonna do some research and then come back and open it so I know what double I'm actually opening. All right. So yeah, I'm pure excited as I am. Okay, so I've got my iPad finally jury rigged so it can sit properly. Um, so the doll I got is a Lutz Avalanche um, from the the MS uh, the Master collection um, from the new boys that are like between MSDs and SDs. So I'm gonna move my chair back like that. Um, I did this through a uh, group order. Um, uh, from a girl on DOA. She was really nice. Uh, she took lots of pictures and uh, she got it out in a timely manner and she actually quoted me that it would could arrive by Friday and it's Friday. So I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dig into this thing. Um, she even, she let me buy it on layaway and she actually paid for the entire thing, which I thought was really nice. If anyone ever wants to, um, a group order with her. I can always put her DOA in the description if you're curious. Um, if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna write her a really nice review. Any either way on DOA. Um, unfortunately, this one got cut for customs. Uh, it doesn't always happen, but it did this time probably because it has EMS, so they looked at it. Um, yep. So it was uh, fifty-seven dollars. And apparently the postage for her was 55, and the total posting was 50, postage was 57. So I don't know. And this is actually because it was a group order. This isn't actually the box it came in. She happened to get another Let's Doll uh, at the same time. It just happened that it fit. All right. I always do that. Every time I do a box opening, I'm like, let's point the scissors directly at myself. And then try and cut. Um, none of my dolls are down to see this opening um, because, as far as stories go, um, Magnus is actually, uh, whether you may know it or not, Magnus, my 70 centimeter doll, um, is a warlock. And you might be thinking, some people might be thinking, oh, why don't why you just call him a wizard? Why is he a warlock? Um, warlock actually means oathbreaker, um, and he's an elf. But he practices um, dark magic as well as um, attempts to bring things, uh, animate things and bring things back from the dead. Um, and being an elf, uh, even part of the unseemly court, it's not still not um, kosher, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so he practices dark magic and actually his first... Um, well, let me go back and say, uh, he created Tumnus. Uh, he created his body, and then uh, when he met his boyfriend, his bo after they got to know each other, his boyfriend actually, uh, who's a necromancer, actually helped him put the soul into Tumnus, so he's fine. Um, but this guy is sort of like a Frankenstein's monster. It's the first time he, it's not the first time he tried, but he was successful by himself. Um, and he sort of, he created more of a servant, and even though uh, this guy is... Uh, senient and has his own free will and all that sort of thing um he can't not do what magnus asks him uh for a while i think in his story he's going to be able to have that that cord sort of cut um because he does have some magical properties of his own because magnus created by himself and uh some of his magic went into him or went to this guy uh, so he has some sort, some uh, magical powers, but I'm not, I'm not sure at the moment exactly. But either way, he really doesn't like Magnus because uh, he doesn't like um, being essentially an errand boy for him and not having any free will and being fully aware that he has no free will. There's bubble wrapping here. I love it. Um, so yeah, he's not a fan of Magnus or Magnus's boyfriend. Um, so he's sort of their servant for a while. So, I'm going to just remove the top layer of bubble wrap. I'm going to the box in here. Um, 
So the model Delph um, I got, I got him in tan skin, so he's he's my first tan doll. Perfect, it's like I planned it. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap, gotta move the bubble wrap. Uh, and I've actually got another doll coming, I paid him off, but I don't know when he's being shit. Alice's boyfriend now, so his boyfriend, I've actually wrote his story, and I'm really excited. His Alice is a model, and his boyfriend is a photographer. Uh, they both, they meet on a job. And I've actually got a photo story planned for him. It's kind of geeky. So here's Fox, um, it's a uh, slightly luminescent um, grey with the grey flower and the picture of the model duff body on the front. Um, the model duff body is actually wearing a white shirt and it's all wet and I'm just like, oh let's, let's be dirty Korean people. I love you. Um, and I've sort of come to the decision that I'm a sucker for Lutz. I mean, I know it's sort of like, I don't know, I guess like a starter. Thing. At least I've always thought of it as that. Um, but I love like the, the two lidded eyes and sort of long eyes. Absolutely. And I got an outfit because he'd be stuck wearing his clothes all the time. So here's his clothing. Uh, suspender thingy, white shirt, and pants. I figured, sh I figured shoes would probably be the easiest thing to buy for him. And I kind of assumed he'd wear Rook's sort of wig size, which she's got a bunch of wigs, and there are a whole bunch of different styles. Also, I'm so excited because this is the first time I've ever gotten a pillow. <laughs> um, I know I'm kind of crazy. I got a bag with magnets, which was pretty cool. This is the first like official pillow, and they've got a couch that I made upstairs, so couch is officially getting cushions. Good cushions, not just like shoulder pad cushions. Anyway, squish, squish. There we go. I'm just like so excited. I suddenly got in silence. Um, so, uh, certificate of ownership. Uh, he's got a number on him. And they're actually sold out now, so I'm super excited. So this is Model Delph Avalanche Soul Hunter uh, Master Lutz Limited. Um, four, uh, comma, four and two. I don't know what that means, but yeah. I'm gonna take a peek in here because I want it. And hold out the suspense for the dolly. So there's my official card. Alice doesn't have one. He's got a thing inside his head though. Alice is like never getting sold though. But it's perfectly fine. Um so there we go. That's him. That's like the normal one. I got the Soul Hunter version which has the third eye. There's something in the middle here. Oh, it's Velcro. I don't know why there's Velcro. Do they use Velcro to keep on the wig sometimes? I don't know. Let me know. Educate me. Um, got some cards. So, I uh, don't know which one this one is. Oh, it's this Avalanche. So, this is him again. Oh, sorry. Avalanche is the other one. Okay, so there's the other one. Which is the one I have. And Kane. Kane's King. a cutie. Sorry, I don't want to show. Don't laugh at me! Instruction manual. Oh! Ha! I would totally have not seen that until like. much later. The computer and Rory. So, there he is, in the box. I'm taking him out. Watching no one's watching at the moment. I'm gonna paste it, put it up on YouTube later. Um, oh, well, he doesn't. Is he a girl? No, it's a boy. He's got a lady. Oh. <laughs> He's got the wiggly bits. Uh -huh. So nice, though. You're on the bed. You can wiggly bits yourself for a while. <laughs> this is playing on the internet. Shut up. <laughs> Good night. Who started it? Good night. Good night. His hands are beautiful. Where's the camera? There we go. I really like this color. Oh, 
he has seams on his feet. That hasn't been any dolls with seams so far. Yep, by the way, they do this. They've got like super cool locking joints. I'm totally not used to because Alice's body is old as fart or dirt or whatever. Yeah. So I, I'm just sort of, his legs are actually clicking in every time I turn them. Uh, he doesn't have the third body part, which I think makes him a little harder to stand. Um, there we go. Not bad for just like a little bit of fiddling. He does have a lot of seam lines, which I haven't had in the other ones. Like he's got a really major one long here. Don't know if you can tell because the lights are sort of mess. But yeah. All right, let's see his face. Do 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 do. As all get out, no eyeballs or anything. But I love it. It's so cool. He's like. Since I've got like an SD size, I can definitely say like he feels and he looks like a big doll, but he's a little doll. Well, not little, smaller. Oh, and he actually comes with eyes. You totally won't be able to see them though, because it's like dark, dark blue and like dark, dark brown. His eyes are so tiny though. I'd even say his eyes are like the size of a tiny's, which is rather interesting because I actually have some tiny, tiny eyes that might get him I want to change it. So there he is. Do the all important face touch. Looks like he's just sort of smacking himself in the face. There we go. And because of the locking, he can actually keep his hand up there. He can sort of face palm. Why? And he, okay, I'm going to show you his legs because this is actually really interesting. He's not. See that? He's not actually sitting properly. He's sort of leaning a little bit to that side. And he's actually totally like, no. and, also, and I did that. He wasn't going to fall over for anything. Um, oh, his little ears are so cute. Alright, I am going to dress him. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I got the non-muscular body. Because I'm not a big fan of too many muscles. He looked it for you. They didn't make him for um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get his clothes on, and you can see it also has a one-part torso. I actually have- Magnus has a two-part torso, but he's big and hard to move, so it's almost like a one-part torso. Um, his- Magnus's boyfriend has a two-part torso that actually moves really freely, so he's always sort of slouchy. Um, and I had Alice on that body for a while, and Alice's body is actually has high mobility, like, arms, they turn like that way, um, these ones don't, um, which I'm kind of surprised, they do on the hips but not on the upper arms, um, but yeah, and Alice's hips twist, and he's got double jointing everywhere in the arms and whatnot, which the other doll didn't, um, but it did have the, the upper body, and I actually really like the stiff upper body and more mobile legs and arms. So yeah, oh, put me some long fingernails. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna get him dressed and maybe search out a way to my change location and I'll get back to you. Okay, day two, I was really tired so I just went to bed after I got him dressed. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do a body review and then a comparison as far as size goes for these guys. Um, so all in all, I really like his body. The one thing I didn't realize when like at all until I sort of compared Alice's body and his body is that um Alice's body I don't know if it's just because it's an SD size but he's got the full torso as well but like right where the underline underwear line would be he actually has um a split so he moves a little bit this way um which gives him a little bit more mobility uh than uh this poor guy who because his chest is so heavy because it's one part he does tend to fall backwards um so if anyone's considering getting uh, the model death body, it's really great. 
Um, but I would get the, the, the second option of the, the multi-piece body. Um, Alright, so let's go to the wig he's wearing. I added a little bit of a face-up just so he wasn't so funny looking. Um, he is wearing a generic USD size wig from... I, actually, I think it's an in-between size. I think it's like a USD MSD size. Um, from Alice's collection. I just thought it was really cool and I purchased it at one point because I was doing a clothes order. Um, and it fits him, fits her, and it fits him. On her, it's tight. On him, it's loose. And on him, I, I put the... Oh, sorry, that's my... Okay, thank you for your patience on that. Um, so yeah, he's wearing a generic USD size wig. Um, it is the same price as that one. Um, that I put on him just now. So, if you're buying wigs for him, probably, I'd go for, like, a USD size wig. Something that would be, like, tight on a USD size head. Probably be really good on their heads. I used the Velcro because I found out exactly why they need it, because their head is uber slippery. Um, as for his shoes, he is wearing, um, a small MSD. See, that's what happens. Anyway, uh, he is wearing, uh, small MSD size shoes. Uh, his character actually won't end up wearing shoes, but, um, I thought I'd put them on him just to show and to try it on myself. Uh, so if you see, like, if I put... Well, Brooke falls over too, because that's because that's she's really loose. She actually has two arm parts, or body parts, rather. Putting a shoe on with one hand is really hard. Alright, so as you can see, it, her, it fits on her and it fits on him. And they've got um, approximately the same size foot. Her, her body likes to bend up a bit. But. I'd say hers is a bit longer and wider. Um, so if you have like any awkward size shoes or whatnot, they would probably fit. All right, so I'm holding them heel to heel. So yeah, uh, she has a DMI body, which do tend to be a little bit bigger and more cartoony. So her toes are longer, and her foot is wider than his. Um, his legs are longer. Um, than her MS body, but they're pretty much um, the same thing. He's longer in the torso, but he's a guy. So I think I'm just knocking everyone everywhere. But as far as like heads go, the strange thing is his head, I would guess, is actually smaller than her head. I'd say it's more, and I'd say it's it's about the same size as the USD head, but with like adult features. So like the eyes are smaller, and the nose is smaller, and the mouth is smaller. Um, yeah, it's kind of strange. Like, I'd even say his head might even be smaller than a USD. Because he definitely takes, like, tiny, tiny eyes. Um, yeah, so that's a little strange. Um, but it's interesting. You could probably end up buying him generic, uh, MSD, uh, clothes. Um, some might be loose, some might be tight, but that's the same with any company. Um, the shirt that he actually came with... I feel it's like super, super loose, and just like strangely proportioned, like because the shoulders are way down here, and I think in the, the picture they've got them all sort of bunched way up here uh, by the elbow, which means like the shoulder would end up being way up there, so it's sort of be like, he's wearing a shirt that's too big for him, but I'm pretty sure I could get Alice into that shirt. Um, and Alice is a slim MSD from Lutz, or sorry, slim SD on a very old body from Lutz. Um, so yeah, I've got strangely sized doubles, like, she can wear USD clothes, um, the shorts are really short, obviously, but she could wear USD clothes and SD clothes, depending on what they are, he's obviously going to be switching between SD and MSD, but probably more MSC, and the USD guy just wears USD clothes, he's only got one it would fit, um, but yeah, that's everybody, let me see if I can get this back up again, just so you can see. Yeah, see, he sort of sits back, regardless of what you do, which is, and she is loosely strung, so it's sort of the, the same thing, and she's got a, she actually has a joint right there. So you can sort of actually use her, her head, which is bigger, to sort of balance her forward so she doesn't fall over. And then, he's sort of a rock, I just fall over. Um, but yeah, there's my dolls. With the new boy, who still needs a name. Um. Yeah, and if you didn't notice, Rook is actually on her DMI body now. Um, 
she was on a mini fee body, which she looked really cute on. She looked like this cute little teenager. Um, but I wasn't really loving Flora's head anymore. Just with the huge eyes. She always looked like she was goofily staring at people. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and find another head um, for her, because I really like the body for her character. So I think I might end up getting another DMI body, um, probably in a smaller bust, because I wanted her to be sort of um, like a little kid, and then a different head that can be here. I still want like sort of round and open eyes, but not as cartoony as it was before. Like I still, I found out I really like the, the lid crease in dolls. Like um, he doesn't have a lid crease and I find his eyes just like really, really scary. Like I think I need to, I definitely need to get some different eyes for him. And even with eyelashes, he still looks creepy. So I need to figure it out. They need, he needs much bigger eyes. He takes like the same eye size as Magnus, just so you know. Anyway, there's everyone. Let me know what you think.